You are now watching Tales from the Grid. This item can double as a phone or tablet holder as well. $90 for a card holder that can only hold 15 to 20 cards at a time is a tough sell. Without showing a real business card on the card holder, it's hard for a potential buyer to see how big the card holder actually is. The images provided look like digital renders and not the actual product. If that's the case, then the final product may vary, which can make potential buyers wait for reviews. This should be advertised as a mini bust instead of a card holder, so potential buyers can be more acceptive to the higher price. Unless there's a financial loophole we don't know about, will I buy? For $30, $45 maybe, but not $90. This item can double as a phone or tablet holder as well. This item also comes with a power sword letter opener. $140 for a letter opener and a card holder that can only hold 30 cards at a time is a tough sell. Without showing a real business card on the card holder, it's hard for a potential buyer to see how big the card holder actually is. The images provided look like digital renders and not the actual product. If that's the case, then the final product may vary, which can make potential buyers wait for reviews. This should be advertised as a mini bust instead of a card holder so potential buyers can be more acceptive to the higher price. Unless there's a financial loophole we don't know about, will I buy? For $50, $65 maybe, but not $145. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one. <laughs>